how women, have you ever been asked, well, could you be pregnant? Or are you pregnant? Men, have you ever been asked, well, could she be pregnant? And isn't it a great feeling when you can say, no, that's really not very likely. <laughs> well, this begins a series that I'm going to be doing talking about different birth control methods. about IUDs and by us talking about it I mean us both talking so I'm really going to be looking forward to your comments and your thoughts on this birth control method to give you a brief overview IUDs are kind of like a t-shaped am I making a t right <laughs> a t-shaped device put in the uterus. In fact, IUD stands for in, inter, inner utero device, um, IUD. So it actually goes inside the uterus and the little T part um, prevents pregnancy. Uh, you might be asking, well, how in the world does it do that? Well, there's two different ways. One is made out of copper. So for you girls who are like, I don't want to mess with, you know, I really don't want to mess with my hormonal balance, this is actually one of the non-hormonal methods that you can use. On the flip side of that, um, the copper IUDs actually cause additional bleeding during your period. So your periods are going to be heavier than normal. So you're going to have to make sure that you're um, consuming lots of iron so you don't become anemic or anything. Then the other one is a totally progesterone um, way of working. And um, so that's a hormone. And you have women typically have two main hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Well, progesterone, um, this is going to actually make your periods a whole lot lighter. They say up to 90% lighter. That's enormously, I mean, that's really light periods and it typically shortens the length of your periods. Um, on the flip side of that, progesterone is known to cause some depression. So if you have a history of depression, you really might want to talk to your doctor about it, and um, you might want to try some other progesterone treatments before you make the commitment for an IUD. Um, speaking of making a commitment, um, some IUDs can last up to 12 years. That's longer than any other birth control method other than sterilization um, or having your tubes tied or having a hem snipped, you know. Um, this is really like the longest lasting one. The other thing is that it is one of the most effective birth control methods out there. You know, it's one of the least talked about and it's probably one of the least used. Um, certainly a whole lot less than the pill, or the patch, and so forth, um, or even the shot. By the way, the shot is fully progesterone. So, um, a really good thing to consider is that the initial outlay can be anywhere from, according to Planned Parenthood, can be anywhere from $125 to $500. And that might seem like a lot of money, but if you were to see how much money you spent on your birth control over 12 years time and again it doesn't have to last 12 years you can take it out at any time not you personally but you go to your doctor and they remove it uh, so that's a, you know a, a good thing um, it's actually very cost effective if you have that money for the initial outlay um, so I know I always grew up hearing horror stories about it. Some of the original IUDs weren't very effective and harmed women. Now they've found better and better ways to do it. But I have a gut reaction to it. I have studied it. 
and I want to know what your gut reaction is. I want to know what your thoughts are. I want to know if you would use it. Would you feel comfortable with your partner using it? I think I've noticed that some people just like to have something such as a pill or a patch that they can physically see and physically know they're doing that reassures them that they're protecting themselves against pregnancy. However, again, the IUD is one of the most effective ones, but because you can't see it and, and it's not something you ever really have to do um, with it while it's in there, um, then sometimes it's kind of scary, like you have to just trust that it's going to work. Would you trust that it works? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on, instead of just taking this pill, having something put actually in your uterus that's past your cervix, that's way higher than any tampon goes. And of course a doctor has to do it, and a doctor has to remove it. You also have to make sure that it was placed right. So you have to have it done, and then you have to go back in for a checkup to make sure that it's all where it's supposed to be and working how it's supposed to. Um, so it takes a little more care initially than popping a pill each day. But really, it could be a lot more convenient. So there's these pros and these cons, and I want to hear from you guys about what you think about those pros and cons. There's a number of ways you can answer um, my questions, and I'm going to list a couple of sample questions, kind of what I'm looking for, in the description box. Um, and you can answer them in comment form, even if that means you have to leave 10 comments. I don't care. Go ahead. You know, they have a character limit, but you can leave several of them. I don't have a problem with that. Or you guys can call and leave um, a voicemail message on my new number, um, which I'll post. I'll post here. Have I posted it yet? Here. You can call that number and you can leave me a voicemail um, answering my questions. So um, please do that. I'm really looking for your input. What are your thoughts on it? Um, and, and why? Whether it's just a gut reaction, whether it's just uh, uh, because you've studied it, if you know some interesting stuff about it, tell me about it. Um, tell us all about it. If you know someone who's used it, give us examples. If you've used it, let me know how what you thought of it. Men especially, I really want to know. I mean, you guys are my main, my main viewers, you know. So, what, what would you think if a girl said, I have an IUD? Would you trust it? Would you trust the IUD? Would you trust her? You can't see it. You can't see it going on. What do you think? So anyway, that's my question. And I know, I ramble. I get it all the time. You don't have to leave it as a comment. <laughs> I love you guys. I really look forward to your comments um, and, and your thoughts on this birth control method. And look forward to more um, in this series where, we'll, where we will cover other birth control methods and your thoughts on them because that's the most important thing to get us talking about it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I love you so much. Bye. Mwah.